if I see the psycho like I did an IQ test, um, still waiting for the results, I'm gonna make a movie about it, um, is a new psychologist. If I see this new psychologist for future therapy sessions, I want to ask him, do I have schizotypal or at least some kind of undifferentiated schizophrenia or some kind of mild psychosis or something? I know there is haters and trolls that think I'm faking mental illness or that I want to be mentally ill and I'm not going to respond to them. Because every time I talk about this shit, they always say, he wants to be schizotypal, he wants to be schizoaffective, he wants to have psychosis, it's not that. I'm not even going to pay attention to those fucking people anymore. You can spread false information about me all you want, but I'm not fucking replying to it anymore. No, because this is this is the reason why I think I might be... I was diagnosed with schizoaffective, but I don't, I don't agree with that, because I don't hallucinate or hear voices. Um, or if I do hallucinate, it's definitely not voices. Um, I, I must be, like I said, I must be schizotypal or, or delusional disorder or, or something. Um, bizarre delusional subtype, if that's even a thing. Because even with misotheists, people that don't like God, even with those people, they still believe in the religion and heaven and hell, and I don't. I Even it, it, misotheism is rare, and even within that rare religion, I have my more rare beliefs. <laughs> Like, my perception of, of misotheism is even more rare than the misotheists. So I must be schizotypal or some kind of psychosis or something because I don't believe in hell. I don't like God, but I don't believe in hell. I believe in spirits. I believe in reincarnation, maybe. So I have unconventional beliefs. This is why I want to get assessed for schizotypal. And y'all keep saying... I, it's so funny. I have people on here that say I have it. Then I have people on here that say I don't have it. I don't know what it is. Well, I know this, though. I know this, though. If my psychologist does not think I have schizotypal personality disorder, then it's definitely multiple complex developmental disorder. I'm kind of like on the edge that it is multiple complex anyways because I was filling out this assessment before I got my IQ test, I was filling out this assessment of mental disorder traits that I have, and I basically have everything. I have, I checked off sociopathic traits, you know, I got in trouble with the law and stuff. Um, I have magical thinking, I have attention issues, I have social issues, I basically, so if it, if I don't have schizotypal personality disorder, it's probably multiple complex developmental disorder, which you can't get diagnosed in the, U, the USA, does not recognize it anymore or at all but I think multiple complex developmental disorder makes more sense because I was born with schizotypal you know childhood schizotypal um schizotypal personality disorder is not childhood schizotypal but for me I had childhood schizotypal so it probably isn't even the personality disorder it could just be maybe I have I don't know I don't know what else it could be really Undifferentiated schizophrenia, maybe, maybe. Childhood sch um child what about childhood schizophrenia? Uh, no because no hallucinations, like no voices, you know. I don't I don't know what it is. Like there might not even be a label for what I have, but I definitely have something where I have unconventional beliefs. It could be possible that it's not a mental illness, because I always no, I didn't always believe. Um, ever since I gave up Catholicism, being a Catholic, ever since I gave that up, well, I went to devil worship and then I gave that up. After all that, I started I started to believe in a vague God and a vague afterlife. And I thought it was a mental illness until I started doing near-death experience research, and there's a lot of near-death experiences that talk about a vague God and a vague afterlife. There's a lot of people that come back to life that say that they don't even believe in their religion anymore. They worship energy and the source of, you know, the spirit, you know, the, 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 the creator spirit, the spirit creator, you know. I know that sounds schizotypal, but I don't know what the fuck I have. I'm going to ask him... And like I said, any, any these fucking trolls that fucking say he's going to exaggerate his fucking... No, I'm not. Just hush the... Hush up. Okay. I don't know what it is. I really don't know. It might not even be schizotypal personality because I don't act weird. YouTube is just... 
I'd say I exaggerate my behavior on YouTube, but not to exaggerate being schizotypal. I exaggerate my behavior on YouTube just to be funny, but not just, but not, I'm not exaggerating mental illness on YouTube. I'm exaggerating me being funny in my personality. I don't know what it is though. I don't, I, I only relate to schizotypal with the magical thinking and beliefs and the paranoia and maybe the speech problems. Like I have a vague speech and, and t I get off topic a lot and I go back on the topic sometimes. That could just be, there's also disorganized schizophrenia, which I don't know, that probably is not me. The whole point of disorganized schizophrenia is, is that you don't have delusions or hallucinations. That's, and I'm not disorganized enough. But I always, I always related to that as well, disorganized schizophrenia, even though I'm not as severe as it talks about. I have some kind of schizo something. People could say maybe you're just autistic. Uh, no, people with autism don't believe in magical stuff. I don't know what it is. I think it, it the more I think about it, I think it really is just multiple complex developmental disorder. Because you look at, you go on Google Images, when you look it up, it says, it shows, I, I made a video about it. It shows a diaphragm or it shows an image, there's an image that shows, on the left it shows autism spectrum disorder. On the right it says schizophrenia spectrum disorder. And then in the middle it says schizotypal. I'm not even fucking joking. Um, and then some um, websites do mention schizo childhood schizotypal, so maybe it's just that, you know. Because multiple complex developmental disorder on the NCBI website, that's what the website is. If you go on that website and you click on the article that's titled, Whatever Happened to Multiple Complex Developmental Disorder? It sounds like Full House theme song. <laughs> Um, you read the symptoms and it says bizarre ideas, irrational ideas, illogical ideas or something like that. Magical thinking, that's what it says. That's probably what I have, truly. Because like I said, I don't have odd behavior. I don't, I don't dress weird usually. So it's probably not the personality disorder. And a lot of people with that personality disorder, a lot of them, like I say, they say they, say they developed it later on. And they say they got it from trauma. I don't think I got this from trauma. The only trauma I can think of is like religious trauma, religious trauma syndrome from my aunt that would, my aunt would always talk about Jesus and watching Veggie Tales and Bible Man and all this crap, you know? So maybe she gave me schizotypalism, something magical, multiple complex, whatever the crap, whatever, right? Complex crap, right? But yeah, and I'm going to be ignoring any of the trolls. I mean, if the doctor really does not think I have schizotypal, I will say to him, well, there was this disorder called multiple complex developmental disorder that's not recognized anymore. I told, this is what I said to, I, I said that my last doctor I saw, I said this to him. The last, the last doctor I saw, I said this exactly, or not exactly, but I said to my last doctor, um, well, the doc, my last doctor never talked about schizotypal, but he just refused to diagnose me, and then I just got, with anything, and I just got fed up, and I said, well, it has to be multiple complex developmental disorder, it's not recognized anymore, but it has to be, it just has to be, bruh, just has to be that, you know, um, he's like, well, I never heard of that, okay, this, I'm gonna say the same thing to this new psychologist, if he doesn't think I have schizotypal, um, I'm going to say, well, it has to be multiple complex developmental disorder then. And, he, and he's going to be, and I'm, and I'm going to be like, if you don't know what that is, you probably don't. It doesn't exist anymore. It's not in the diagnostic manual, fifth edition. It's not, I don't think it was ever on the diagnostic manual. Um, you might look it up. So yeah, I think that's what I have. But yeah, I'm just making this video because I just don't relate to these misotheists really. And I, I, I still am a misotheist. It's just, I don't, the concept of hell I, no, when you die, you become a ghost. I used to know a guy with schizoaffective disorder, not schizotypal, but he had schizoaffective. He believed that when we die, we become psychic ghosts. But he doesn't like me anymore. Uh, I don't want to talk about him. But, 